Well, over the years, the Firefly Festival in Dover has become a household name. Just last year, the Folk Festival in Salisbury. Uh, turns out they're just the start of the festivals on Delmarva that have what it takes to succeed. Now, the newest festival that hopes to make it with the others the Jellyfish Festival in Ocean City. Brad Hoffman is the founder of the Jellyfish Festival and he joins us this afternoon. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so Jellyfish Festival, what a, well, that's a cool name right there. Uh, you know, I kind of came up with it because I wanted to, started four years ago creating a concept that would be a festival that would bring, you know, a lot of youth culture, grew up surfing and skating in Ocean City by doing a lot of big events, but kind of the tentacles are all the different activations mm -hmm. and the head is the big hub on the beach. Okay. And it's going to take place north of the pier, uh, June 21st through the 23rd, with great big bands, a lot of regional bands, and a lot of great other activities. Yeah, you said there's, there's different themes going on? Yeah, there is. There's going to be a First Responders Thursday, where we're going to pay tribute to First Responders with some great music. Fresh Friday, which is definitely more cla or fresher bands, more up-and-coming bands, and bands that would be touring around the country, and, and maybe the younger demographic kids would really enjoy. Saturday, going to do some real great classic rock right down the middle, and then Sunday, Music with a message, um, bringing out some Christian rocks and faith-based acts to be on the beach, which we felt brought a great message to the beach, but they're, hey, they're great entertainers. Yeah. And the music's amazing. So to give all those different genres a chance to shine on the beach at what I think is one of the greatest venues in the country, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, and, and you have the Jellyfish Village, five blocks of fun. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a lot of different activities. I have a big art tent displaying all kinds of arts and wares from local and regional artists, which I really have been a part of that community down here my whole life. We're gonna have a big fitness zone. Mm -hmm. So it's to get the kids to put down the cell phone and get out there and enjoy fitness. It's not just for the elite athletes. So if you've seen anything like the Tough Mudder or uh, the Spartan Race, they're real difficult kind of challenges for those ultra athletes. I wanna make a course that you know little Tommy could do, the sister could do, and so could the dad or the mom that are more into the athletic components. And we're going to have a fat tire bike zone I'm putting together with my friend Trez Denk, who's, I think, been on the show in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to have all kinds of great activities. A B stage, when the big A stage is not live, the B stage will showcase some great artists and music. And then there'll be little pocket stages throughout the whole village. That's where the tentacle vibe kind of comes okay. in. And, and one thing that we were talking about before we went on is, is you're making this really family friendly. Like, I, I, you can bring kids of all ages and don't have to worry about hearing profanity from the musicians or anything like that. Yeah, we want to make it a, a family friendly event and festival because when you come to the beach and you're putting bands on the beach, you got to be real cognizant that Ocean City is a family resort. You're not in some kind of private nightclub somewhere. So this is all going to be great family entertainment, great musicians and bands playing in a great location. And our stage is going to be significant. It's going to have big digital boards, one of the biggest hydraulic stages you can bring onto the beach. So this is like going to like a Meriwether style concert right on the beach with major bands you'll recognize. That sounds like a lot of fun. Now to pull this off, you're going to need a lot of help, aren't you? Well, I've already got a lot of help and it's been from the town of Ocean City. Mm -hmm. Working with the tourism director there, Donna Abbott, the mayor, Rick Meehan, and, and the rest of the special events crew, Frank Miller, they've embraced this and they're the title sponsor of the event. And then I have a team of outsourced committee members that help me work on the bands, help me work on the fitness zones. So I have the vision, but I can't pull the vision together with a lot of great, without a lot of great friends, effort and energy. But big calling in the Ocean City community for this. Yeah. Um, I went around and talked to a lot of my friends that own businesses. Uh, they said, you know, B-Rad's my nickname. They're like, if you can make this happen, we'd be behind it 100%. So four years later, a lot of late nights, a lot of PowerPoints, <laughs> and approval by the mayor and council and support by the town. I'm super excited. Yeah, all right. Let's go over the, the details, the date again. It's going to be June 21st through the 23rd. It's going to be Thursday is the 20th, so that's going to be our first responder kickoff day. That's like a soft village opening day. It won't be totally full steam. Then Friday, full steam all day, fresh Friday. Saturday is classic Saturday. First response or um, music with a message Sunday. So it's 21st through the 23rd on the beach in Ocean City, Maryland. Can't wait. Ah, oh, can't wait. All right. Brad Hoffman with the Jellyfish Festival in Ocean City. Thank you. Thank you so Looking much. Looking forward to it.